Hey, sixth grade, here is lesson 5.5, solve ratio and rate problems using proportional reasoning. I can find and use equivalent ratios using a table, model, or double number line to solve a real world problem. All right, so step it out. We are on page 167. Lemons are sold in bags of six lemons for $4. If you bought 24 lemons, how much would you spend? Write a ratio of six lemons to the cost of six lemons. All right, so we have six lemons to the cost. How much was the cost of six lemons? $4. What is the unknown value we are looking for? Well, up here it says if you bought 24, how much would it cost? So the cost of 24 lemons. One way to find the unknown number is to use a table. Complete the table using equivalent ratios. All right, so um, let's see here. One times four is four. So two times four is eight. If we go backwards, 12 divided by four is three. And then we know this is probably going to be 4. So it's so 6, 12, 18, 24, 4, 8, 12, 16. Because if they're equivalent, which they told us, then we can count. Look at the results in the table. What do you notice about the number of bags of lemons, the number of lemons, and the cost? Well, the number of lemons is always... Six times the number of bags. And then the cost is always four times the number of bags. So the number of lemons is one bags times six. Let me use a different color, times six. And then the cost is bags times four. All right, another way to find an unknown number is to find the factor that generates the equivalent fraction ratio. When both quantities are multiplied by the same number, the result is an equivalent ratio. Find the unknown number using this method. So this is kind of what we've done already. Well, we know that six times four is 24, then four times four is 16. So if we were gonna buy 24 lemons, it would cost $16, which we had right there. And notice our times four. So what's the cost of 24 lemons? $16. All right, join me on the next page. Jara wants to make a batch of slime. The diagram shows the ratio of hot water to cold water needed to make slime. He wants to use 18 parts of water in total. How many parts of cold water does he need to make the slime? All right, so there's his hot water and his cold water. Look at the tape diagram. What's the total parts of the water? So the total parts would be all of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Write a ratio of total parts to cold water. So we just said there were nine. How many colds are there? Three. What is the relationship between the quantities and the ratio in part B? It's multiplicative. How can you use the relationship between the quantities in part B to find the parts of cold water needed for 18 parts of water? Well, we can just divide it by three. How many parts of cold water will Jara need if he has a total of 18 parts? Again, we're gonna divide by three. So 18 divided by three equals six. 
If Jera wanted to make a larger batch of slime using 36 total parts of water, how many parts of cold water? Again, we're going to divide by 3. So 36 divided by 3 gives me 12. How many parts of hot water will Jera need if he uses a total of 18 water? So remember, 18, this was cold right here. He had 6. And he has 18 total, so now we could do 18 minus 6 cold, and he would end up with 12 hot. How many parts of hot water would he need if he uses 36? So here's the 36 one. So 36, 12 of them were cold. How many are going to be hot? 24. All right, we're gonna finish up on the next page. <clears throat> a race car driver completes five laps in a race in three minutes and 30 seconds. Then the driver completes, continues driving at this rate. How many laps will the driver compete, complete in 17 and a half minutes? What is the ratio of laps to minutes? Laps to minutes. It would be five laps to 3.5 minutes because it says three minutes and 30 seconds and we know 30 seconds is half a minute, right? You can use a double number line to find the unknown quantity. Complete the double number line diagram. Explain how you found the missing numbers. All right, so we know this was five to 3.5, right? And this is a double number line. That means that these have to be spaced equally. So it goes zero, five, so we're counting by five. So we can count that, we can do that. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. What are we counting by on the bottom? Three and a half. So we're gonna add three and a half every time. So let's see, after 10 and a half, it would be 14, plus three and a half is 17 and a half. And at the end, 24.5 plus 3.5 is 28. All right, another way to find the unknown quantity is to find a factor that generates the equivalent ratio. What number multiplied by 3.5 will result in 17 and a half minutes? So again, they um, did, this was our ratio that we started with. And they said, okay, we want 17 and a half. So we have to figure out 3.5 times what is 17.5. I have no idea, but I have a way to do that. I can work backwards and divide. So I can do 17.5 divided by 3.5. I'm gonna do that on my calculator. And I'm gonna get five. Well, division and multiplication are opposites, so that means that 3.5 times 5 is 17.5. So I can multiply by 5, and we're going to get 25 laps. Does that make sense? And if you look up here, it was also 25. Um, whoops, I put the wrong answer there, guys. What number is it multiplied by? It's multiplied by 5. Sorry, that's what we did over here. How many laps can they complete? That's the 25 laps. All right, guys, um, pause and do check your understanding and then check it when you're done. Hey, Garden Center is running a special on house plants. A selection of any two plants costs $7. If the designer buys 22 plants for a new home, how much does the designer spend? All right, so we said right here, it says two, two plants is $7, but they wanna buy 22 plants. Okay, so we're gonna multiply by something. Two times what is 22? Yeah, 11. So seven times 11 is, so they're spending $77. A scale model of the Eiffel Tower uses the scale shown. The Eiffel Tower is 324 meters tall to the tip. What is the height of the model? So this says two centimeters is six meters. 
And then over here, they give us 324 meters. So I'm gonna put that on the bottom because that's the same um, same topic. It's the same label. We have to keep our labels the same, so meters and meters on the bottom. All right, so we have to figure out six times what is 324. And if you don't know, you can work backwards and do 324 divided by six is 54. So it's gonna be times 54. So then two times 54 is 108 centimeters. All right, a hybrid car can drive 53 miles in this city on one gallon of gas. How many gallons of gas will it use to drive a total of 371 miles? So one gallon is 553 miles. And then we have 371 miles. Now it doesn't matter which one's on top or bottom, as long as you have both the miles on the same spot. So again, I have no idea what I'm multiplying here, but I can divide and work backwards. And I can do 371 divided by 53 is seven. So that's seven gallons. All right. Thanks for listening. That's our last lesson of this unit. Bye, guys.